Hi, Anna. Uh, my name's Joe. I'm a, a sign fitter. Um, I work for the big supermarkets. I live uh, in Monmouth on the South Wales border. I just want to say I love the channel. Um, I love what you're doing. It, it totally dispels the propaganda we're receiving from the, the mainstream media at this point. Uh, let's get right into it because there's not a lot of time. I think... Like, okay, let, let, let's get the significance of words. Words are powerful. The Norse used to believe that uh, something wasn't real until it was named. Okay, so you had to give it a name and then it became real. And I, I believe there's a lot of truth in that. Um, I believe certain certain words are spells, like like literally wizarding spells. They, they can invoke uh, an, an emotional rise in people. Okay, so one, one word can do. And, I, and in this age of smartphones we have that there's, it, spells have never been so strong. Like, words have never been able to create such a, 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 a ripple through the populace, right? Uh, and social media really contributes to it because it, it, just, it just gives us two extremes of life. It gives us, like, like, one extreme or the other. Like, it doesn't matter if you're for riots or against riots. It doesn't matter if you're for masks or against masks. It, it, it just matters that uh, you engage, almost. Do you know, uh, it, and it makes you think that the world is tribalized like that too, that they're one or the other. And and, and clearly that's, if you get out in the street and you talk to people, if you, even just the, your channel, you can see that this isn't the way, this isn't how real life is. Um, I don't, everyone seems to think that the government's incompetent, that, that this is all mistake, but I don't, I don't think it's incompetence. I think it's by design. Like, so I don't think it's no coincidence that like Fauci uh, and Boris and the WHO were all like massive pointless, don't wear them, they don't do anything. And then a week later, they're like, now you've got to wear them or we'll find you, right? Um, I, I think it, it's, it's literally, it's like, it's, it's, it's cognitive dissonance manufacturing, you know, like these contradictions. Uh, I think um, it's almost Pavlovian. Like, okay, so Pavlov observed that uh, if you give a dog enough emotional stress, em enough emotional trauma and um, physical trauma, then it would eventually have a hysterical breakdown. And then after that hysterical breakdown, it would it would pretty much lose all the preconditioning it had before. And then uh, any subsequent conditioning placed on that dog would then be deeply embedded in its nervous system and be very therefore very hard to remove uh i think this is that basically it's like it's like a co constantly changing rules constantly contradicting rules and if it's and, and like we all want to do right right we want to play our part but if you try and fulfill that role you, you you can't and you end up in a in a state of anxiety and 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 therefore more suggestibility i think i think that's the thing it's almost like it's almost like 1984 where they have to they have to show us there's four lights and then get us to publicly admit there's five you know, because uh, at that point, that's when a man's broken. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I do find it funny how they're not even reporting the, the, the deaths anymore. It's just the cases, which is uh, drastically not, not, not real because they're not even saying like a percent of cases. Like, oh, in March, there was 20% of people testing positive and now there's... 25% or 13%. Now they're just saying that the amount of new cases because they're testing more though. It's it's so it's manipulating the data and therefore manipulating the people in it and it's not fair. Uh, do I think there's something more going on? Of course I do. Uh, I think we're in a, a in an age of algorithms where human beings are constantly poked and prod and suggested to in an effort to try and find their um, uh, 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 their reaction, their limit and therefore make us more suggestible uh it's like 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 a trial and error system it's machine learning um even advertising works in this way we all know it's a suggestion based on data right uh and we give away our most valuable asset our privacy our data with a tick of a box we, we don't even realize it right we just we just hand it over uh uh the saddest thing is that it's the generation to come that's going to really bear the price of this like the financial price and the emotional price uh, like even having the stability of life, they're, they're the ones that are going to pay the price. Uh, someone said that everything we do is born out of either love or fear, uh, and it's hard to see any love going around at the minute, and I think that's the point, because um, like they can't take away what's real, they can't take away what's human, you know, what's, what, what's us. Uh, <laughs> they can put you in, they, they can, ta I mean, they can do a lot, they can tax you to death, they can, they can uh, put you in debt, they can, they can put you in a box for all they want, but they... But they can't take away what's human. They, they 
yeah, they can't take away what makes us human. And the more you realize this, uh, that's the thing, the more you realize that, like, uh, it's not going back to the way it was, right? The more you fall into despair. Uh, but that's not the way forward, right? That's, that's not. Um, all they can do is take away what they offer, really. Um, like the illusion of security. Because if you abdicate responsibility of you and your life to the government, then they can just rip the rug out whenever they, they want, and that's that's what they're doing. Uh, uh, like, like, like if I if I if I get scared, that's on me. If someone makes me scared, that's on me. If someone makes me angry, that's on me. That's me allowing them to do that. Like, there's no, there's no two ways. That's, that's on me. Um, yeah, it, it, it's not the government's responsibility. And if you put it in the government's hand, then they can rip the rug out whenever they want, which is what we're seeing happening. We just sat here waiting for them to to tell us we're all imprisoned again, right? In our own homes. Uh, yeah, it's almost like they're criminalising the entire population and practising select uh, prosecution. Like, or it's almost like they're setting up a society of double standards, where uh, there's one set of rules for another and uh, uh, laws for for one group and not not for another. And I don't want to be part of that society. That's that's horrible. The thing is here, if, if you see, and this is the thing, if you see through it, then, like, if you don't see through it, then you're scared. And if you see through it, then you despair. So it's a win-win for them, you know. Um, you, you just have to live through that fear. You just have to live through it uh, and face it. Um, like, I know it's, it, it, it builds anxiety. If you walk into a shop and you're the only one not wearing a mask, that, that creates such anxiety. But when you leave that shop, right, you feel good. Why do you feel good? Because you know that... Um, you're you're pushing in the right direction right it's like it's like how fear is contagious and it spreads so is so is so is courage so is love you know that's good and and so when you walk out of that shop you realize you've you've pushed in the right direction it's beautiful it makes you feel good uh oops I'm trying to keep this in the six minutes right um it doesn't matter if you see it or not. Just, just don't despair, guys. Life is beautiful. Life is is so beautiful, and they can't take that away. They cannot take that away. Uh, so just smile at people. You know, hug your mum. Don't let them take that from you. Don't let them take that from you. Uh, you're all beautiful people on this channel. I, I I loved hearing every one of your stories, your truths. Yeah. Uh, I love seeing every one of you and what you've done, your courage. Uh, it inspires me. It has inspired me. Um, it's been moving, so the least. Uh, what I'm saying is just spread the love, guys.